This video was brought to you by Stoneberg, a bedroom planner, Mr. Green, Ken Power, and Marcus Beal. Yo, what's up? This is a brand spanking new Kia Nero EV. Yes, from now on, it's actually called Nero EV, not E Nero anymore. So, uh, in this video, we're gonna check out how much space it has because I have indication that the new one actually has less space than the old one. Whoa! So, we're gonna do that by the traditional banana box test. Uh, we don't have to look in the front. Well, actually, let's take a look in the front. Let's see what's under the hood there. Okay, let's see. This is based on the fossil platform. So don't expect anything. Well, at least it has struts to take it up, okay? Kia Eco Technology. Whoa, there's actually a tiny front here. You can put some cables here, uh, but no banana boxes. So it's uh, quite small, but at least they included a front here. Wow, that must be new because I don't remember the old one having it. And you know, competitors nowadays like Audia or maybe the MG Marvel, they have motorized lift gates. This one, nope, you just have to do it manually. But okay, so fairly big uh, trunk. Hmm, we can take out this one, I guess. Just a. Uh, fabric uh partial shaft wait there you go so see this floor here can be raised up like this i guess this would be useful when you uh, want to have a flat floor uh, when you fold the front seats but you can also take it down but you see there's this sloping thing here that the old one didn't have. But I mean, for the test, we're gonna take out this anyway. So, like this, but then, huh, what about here? Yeah, wait, huh? What? what the heck is this thing? I and mean, it has a tiny hook there compared to the other one. The other one will have a, a sturdier hook there. I guess maybe it's not too big. For, I mean, it's probably for blowing bumps. But maybe you can take less load. Um, so I guess, just like the old one, we're gonna unscrew this thing here. There's no subwoofer or anything here, so... Wait, huh? Wait a minute. There used to be a bigger foam thing here in the old one. Uh, this one doesn't have it. It's just this much smaller foam. You see? But there's still something that resembles uh, a well for... Uh, oops. For a uh, uh, spare tire. And here, you see? We have vehicle to load adapter so i guess the korean cars are known for having vehicle to load because every time we talk about uh, cars stranded they say oh you should have brought an ionic 6 or uh, ionic 5 or ev6 but remember that the, uh, the the chinese cars most of the chinese cars nowadays they also have vehicle to load well okay so let's see i guess what we should do is remove all the stuff here so we can utilize the space like we always do round one in the trunk so the old one could take eight boxes. What about now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, at least that's good. Now let's follow the seats. And the new Nero can actually recline this back seat slightly. You have to do it like this. You get slightly better seating angle or I guess slightly better cargo space, but then you have to, there, it clicks there. But uh, it shouldn't matter. Oh, it's windy today. But I tested it. Uh, there's no difference in cargo space, at least for the banana box test between this one and this one. <laughs> All right, we're trying to pack the car to the max. So um, let me show you that here. I still have a normal driving position. And then here I pack it all the way to the roof. This one does not have the panorama roof. Hmm, I wonder if that's a slight disadvantage. You see, I couldn't fit it all the way there, but at least as good as I could. Oh, shit. okay. Okay, don't, don't touch that one. This one, yes, there's a slight slope that I cannot utilize. And then on this side, as you kind of open this, kind of ish. Okay, let's close it. Okay, as usual, let's turn up the pitch and start counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen.
22, 23, 23. What the heck? <laughs> Wait a minute. The old one could take 22. Now I can take 23. So either the car has grown bigger or the banana boxes, they have shrunk in size after being compressed for thousands of times. Or I've gotten better at the Tetris. <laughs> but yes, so a result is a result, but the cars should be more or less the same. And then as for the sloping part I've shown you, well, as long as you take out that plate, then uh, you don't have that slope. So anyway, I think that's going to be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.